हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू प्रियंका स्टूडेंट इन क्लासेस तो सब्जेक्ट विच वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी इज मैथमेटिक्स फॉर सेकेंड सेल एंड द फर्स्ट मॉड्यूल वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द वेरी फर्स्ट मॉड्यूल एंड द फर्स्ट टॉपिक ऑल्सो दैट इज डबल इंटीग्रेशन सो वी हैव द वेरी बेसिक क्वेश्चन आई एल एक्सप्लेन यू स्टेप बाय स्टेप हाउ टू सॉल्व ईच क्वेश्चन एंड बिफोर आई स्टार्ट आई वी लाइक टू इवन गिव यू सम टिप्स हाउ यू हैव टू एट वॉट स्टेप यूजिंग वॉट यू कैन सॉल्व and uh, in that will make it much much easier for you and much uh, you know you can recall it very soon so starting with the first question whenever they give you the question such as evaluate the first work what you have to do is substitute it to i i is equal to the question which is given now as if it is double integration it is called double integration because there are two times we do integration and here there are two terms now the question arises whether i have to integrate for the y term or for the x term how will i understand this this you can understand by the uh, in uh, this dy and dx if dy is given then you have to substitute x first if dx is given then you have to substitute uh, then you have to integrate x first dy you have to integrate y dx you have to integrate x now in this dy now in this question we have given dy so you have to start it by integrating y now you may ask how to integrate then we have the list of formulas which is provided here i will mention only two formulas which we are going to use in this video so this are the two formulas which i am going to use in this entire complete video so starting with integrating y first now here y is raised to the power of 1 so when the power is 1 what do we have y power is 1 1 plus 1 divided by 1 plus 1 and what are your limits your limits are x and root of x what is remaining dx is remaining now you have got this we can again simplify this we will simplify it to x into y plus uh, 1 plus 1 is 2 y square divided by 2 x dx x root square dx now next what you have to do is you have to substitute this into this before substituting i will like to keep only y term so what i am going to do is 1 by 2 i am going to remove it outside so how will i remove it outside x into 1 by 2 here only y square is remaining with x and root of x so what further simplifying we get x into 1 by 2 we get x by 2 and y square first uh, substitute the upper limit and then substitute the lower limit So what is your upper limit? Root of x. So how are you going to substitute it? Root of x raised to square minus x the whole square. So here you have already substituted this much. You can further simplify it by cancelling the root terms. So what we get further? So further we keep x by two as it is. What do we have in bracket? X minus x square. Keeping x minus x square. Now next, what you have to do is you have to multiply the outer term which is remaining to the inner terms. So if we multiply x by two into x, two is fine. Multiply x. X into x we get x square by two minus x into x square we get x cube. So we get x cube by two. So here it completes the, completes the integration of y term. Here everything what like we don't have any y term remaining here. It simply it shows that y integration is done. Now next start with the x thing. Before starting with x, try to simplify as much as you can keep the x term alone. Now how can I keep x term alone here? You can keep it alone by removing one by two outside. If you remove one by two outside, what do we get in the bracket? X square. And here also the same thing. If you remove one by two outside, you get only x three. So this much you got, I guess. Till here you got 
x square is alone, x cube is alone. Now you have to start integrating here again. How will you integrate? The formula is already written here. You have to just substitute. See, 1 by 2 is as it is. What is the power of x? It is 2. What is the formula? 2 plus 1. So how will we write it? x, 2 plus 1 divided by 2 plus 1 minus 1 by 2. The next term is x cube. x is 3. You have to write x 3 plus 1 divided by 3 plus 1. Simplifying it further, what do we get? 0 by 1, 1 by 2. Here it is x cube by 3. And don't forget to write your uh, 1 just a second. If you have integrated, then there is no need to write this. Because you have integrated, right? So there is no need. Instead of here, you have to write it here. Don't forget to write your terms. So here it is 1 by 0 minus 1 by 2. Here it is x raised to 4 divided by 4. Once you look onto this clearly, what we have done? We have written, we have got the x terms here. We just multiplied it inside. We got this thing. Then we want x term to be kept separate. So we kept 1 by 2 separate and kept x by 2 here. 1 by 2 again we have kept separate. Then here we have performed the integration step. At this point, integration is done. Here we have integrated x by 2. We got x cube by 3. Here we have integrated x cube, x 4 by 4. This step is just to make it more simpler for you. So now what you have to do? You have to substitute the upper limit and the lower limit. This is not perfect. 1 by 2 c. Instead of x, just write 1. Instead of x, just write 0. My first write upper limit, then lower limit. Upper limit is 1 cube by 3 minus 0 cube by 3. And then we, we, uh, we are going to substitute in this term also. We have minus 1 by 2. We have 1, 4 raised to 4 minus 0, 4 divided by 4. See, any, this is 0. This is 0. 1 raised to cube is 1 cube only. Like 1 raised to cube is 1 only. Minus 1 raised to 4 is 4 only. So this is 1 by 2 into 3 is 6 minus this is 1 by 8. Substitute this in your calculator then your answer is 1 by 24. I got every step is like each and every step is clear to you and if you have any doubts put it down into comment section and I will reply to that. Okay I hope that you have got the first question clearly. Now we will begin with the second question. So your second question is evaluate. As I told, any question you get, first substitute it to i. i is equals to write the question. Now what is the second step? You have to determine what you have to integrate. You have to integrate y or x. So I hope you have already guessed that you have to integrate y. y why have to integrate y? Because we already have here dy. Mm -hmm. So we will integrate, we will start integrating the y term. See, here you have x square. You don't have any term. So that means your y is 0. And as I have already mentioned the formula, if you put that, you get y raised to 1 by 1. And what is y raised to 1 by 1? It is nothing but y itself. So integrating the term where you don't have y, the, your answer, if you have anything, like if you have an another question where it is 2x square plus y square, if you are integrating this, then here what you have? You have 2x square y. Even if you don't have y, you are going to put y. If you have another question, like 6x cube plus x2, then what is your integration here? You have 6x cube y plus x square y. If you have no term of y and if you are going to integrate it, then you have to put one term. Why you have to put that one term? Because of this formula itself. I hope that is clear because you get confused in that. I made this point clear. So here now we have no term y. So I add here x square 
y plus for this we already know the formula that is y 2 plus 1 that is y cube divided by 2 plus 1 that is cube I won't step uh, I won't solve in brief because in first example I have solved in brief and I'm pretty sure that you've already got to know what it is so we have dx remaining here now we have to put the limits I forgot to put so here it is x and root x so you have to substitute the, room, uh, the limits the upper limit and the lower limit how am I going to substitute that I am going to write x square as it is. See, instead of y, I am going to substitute root of x. And minus the lower limit is x. Plus, here 1 by 3, I am going to remove it outside. Why? Because we need a y term alone. So, 1 by 3, if I remove outside, in the bracket, I will be having root of x the whole, so the root of x the whole cube minus x the whole cube. I hope this is clear. Now what you have to do? So you have substituted. After substituting your only work is to simplify it further. If you simplify it further it is very easy. For, so here only you can even uh, integrate with x term but it becomes very difficult and very complex. So what you do? You simplify it. So how am I going to simplify it is x square I am going to multiply with root of x and x square I am going to multiply with x. Now x square how are you see some people do it easily but for some people that is confusion. So let me tell you root of x is nothing but x is equals to 1 by 2 and here what we have x square into root of x that is nothing but x square into x raised to 1 by 2. That is again nothing but it is 2 plus 1 by 2. If you remove the LCM of this, you get 5 by 2. So here multiplying this both, multiplying this both, you get x raised to 5 by 2. Minus x square into x is nothing but it's just x cube. The first part is clear. Now the second part. We have 1 by 3 here. See again here also we have the same thing. What is that? Root of x is nothing but x raised to 1 by 2. Here it is root of x raised to 3. So how are you going to write it? Root of x 1 by 2 raised to 3. Here, here we have multiplication. After multiplication what we get? x into 3 by 2. So that we are going to write here. Root of x the whole cube. What you got? x 3 by 2 x 3 by 2 minus x cube will stay as it is. This is the simplification. This is the simplification. Here you have not done anything much. You have just multiplied this both x with this x and x with this x. Here you have just simplified this cube and you have removed cube and you have written x is equals to 3 by 2. Now the next step what you have to do is you have to integrate the x terms till here your y terms are done. Your y integration is done. Your y integration is done here itself but after simplifying we get this so here it is done. Now your next step is what? Your next step is to integrate the x. So how are you going to integrate it? x raised to 5 by 2. When you get any decimal number on top of any terms don't be uh, panic. It's just easy. Just what you have to do is 5 by 2 plus 1. What formulas are? Very basic formulas. Just add them. Just apply the formulas. You will get the answer in the end. So this is what you will get after putting the formula minus x cube is nothing but x raised to 4 divided by 2 plus 1 by 3 will be kept as it is. And here what we have? x 3 by 2 plus 1 divided by 3 by 2 plus 1 minus x cube will be x raised to 4 divided by 4. So this is what you are going to get after integrating. At the end don't, write, don't forget to write your limits that is 0 to 1. You can write it separately for this also that is 0, 0 to 1. I hope this much is clear. I will erase this. Now what you have to do is, now till here you got this thing. 
this is still now this is uh, after this thing you have to simplify this all the uh, numbers which you have got so after simplifying x 5 uh, 5 is to 2 plus 1 what we get we get x 7 by 2 divided by 7 by 2 this is what you get here and here we get minus x raised to 4 divided by 4 as it is and here we get plus 1 by 3 as it is plus 1 by 3 will remain as it is x 3 by 2 plus 1 if we remove the simplification of this we get 5 by 2 so this is x 5 by 2 divided by 5 by 2 and this will be the same that is x raised to 4 divided by 4 now what are you going to do now we have this one term outside so we will multiply this with this so how it will be is the first box is going to stay, stay same because we don't have any constant outside here we have a constant outside so we are going to multiply it with the inside terms so first I write this as it is now what we have we have x raised to 5 by 2 1 into x raised to 5 by 2 is nothing but x raised to 5 by 2 3 by 5 by 2 if you properly calculate it you get 3 5 is a 15 by 2 minus 1 by x raised to 4 is x raised to 4 and 3 by 4 is 20. now that you have simplified it here you have not done anything you have just multiplied this constant up inside now what I am going to do is I want x to keep as it is. I don't want any other terms with x. Uh, just don't forget to write the limits. So here uh, what I am going to do is I am going to remove 2 by 7, 4, 15 by 2, 2, all the other terms outside. So how am I going to remove this? This is, two, uh, this is 7 by 2. This is going to be 2 by 7 into x raised to 7 by 2 your limits are 0 to 1 minus how are we going to remove this 1 by 4 will be outside 1 by 4 x raised to 4 will be inside 0 to 1 plus here here I will be having 2 by 15 so here we have in bracket x 5 by 2 here I have 1 by 12 outside in the bracket I have x raised to 0 to 1 so after simplifying, after removing the constants outside, I have got this uh, values. Here I have put this values just because we need x terms uh, separately. You can put your limits here itself and find the answer here itself. But it is much easier to do it in this manner. So this is the reason I have separated this and I have explained you. So next what you have to do is substitute the terms in this. We have 1 7 by 2 minus lower limit substitute in all the x terms lower limit minus sorry upper limit minus lower limit so this is how i have substitute 1 minus 0 everywhere and 1 raised to anything is going to be 1 itself, 0 minus anything is going to be 0 itself. So at the end of the day, your answers will be. So if you put these values in the calculator, your answer will be 3 by 25. So that's it. That is the second problem also we have solved. Clearly with each step explained one after one. Thank you.